not dropping a little one dessert. I don't think so. Hi YouTube, welcome back to another video. We are in the car because we're heading to the movies. We're very late. The movie starts at 1.30 and it's now 1.27. I was contemplating whether or not to still go, but I'm gonna go. Might miss five minutes out of the movie, but I think I think it will be fine. It's now 1.34. So let us rush inside. One thirty-five and we're at the booth buying the ticket. Thank you. Thank you very much. So it was in the beginning, so it will be in the end. Alright. Give thanks and praise to the Lord, and I will feel alright. And let's I get together and feel alright. Boy, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I saw one love. <laughs> if you haven't figured it out by now. <laughs> Boy, the movie give me a vibes. I liked the movie. Hold on, I feel like I need to wipe you guys off a bit. Hold on. I like the movie. I like it. I like it. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews. I don't know why people don't like it. I don't know why people are bashing it. But you know, as with everything else, there's always going to be good and bad reviews. I enjoyed it. I think it was a very good movie. <sighs> the life of Bob Marley is such a powerful meaningful one you just can't help to be touched by the man and such great music such meaningful such purposeful music such feel-good music you know and it just feels so good to know that this man was a son of our beautiful island home jamaica this very small country that has been able to touch the entire world through music, through sport, or through Bob Marley. It, it means a lot. You know, it makes you very proud to be Jamaican. The man's life is so impactful. The movie definitely evoked a bit of emotion for me, especially when he found out that he had cancer and when he and Rita had that conversation, when she just found out that he had cancer and, you know, they had the conversation while he's sitting by the window. Um, I feel very good to know that the entire movie is in Patwa. I just feel so good because this movie is on a big scale you know what i mean and our language is being broadcasted and exposed to the entire world not that the world hasn't been already been exposed to patwa but this movie is a big thing you know it's a huge stage and i just feel good to know that our language in its authenticity was on show i love lashana and kingsley in my opinion they did a very very good job i enjoyed the acting at no point i felt cringy or weird about it they did a good job obviously as jamaicans you can tell that they're not originally from Jamaica, but I think they did an excellent job. So enough respect to Lashana and Kingsley. Big up on yourself. We couldn't have asked for a better representation. I, you know, I contemplated whether or not I was going to watch the movie, but I just decided why not, you know, support. You know, it's Jamaica, it's Bob, our beloved Bob, our beloved Jamaica. Why not support? We go out and watch every other big movie, every other Marvel or whatever other type of movie. Why not go and support? And I'm glad I went. I didn't have to go to the theater, but I'm glad I went and supported and watched it in the theater. I really enjoyed it. I don't regret it one bit and I definitely recommend that every Jamaican go out and see it. It's a good movie, good representation. It wasn't uh, an illustration of his entire lifetime. You know, it was really more about 
everything that went into the creation of the album Exodus. So if you feel, if you want to know every single detail about Bob the Man and you know how he grew up and everything about his life, this is not what this movie is trying to portray. This is specifically about the making of the album Exodus. And as far as I'm concerned, they did a good job. I don't know if this is where, but I had like a mushy feeling on the inside when I saw the Air Jamaica plane. <laughs> When he came back to Jamaica from London and he arrived on an Air Jamaica flight I feel so sad that I never had the opportunity to fly on Air Jamaica and I'm also so sad that we no longer have our own airline but I don't know I had a weird little mushy feeling when I saw the Air Jamaica That was a nice little solo movie date on a Sunday afternoon <laughs> I really was supposed to go from yesterday because I had a really rough last week i had a rough week rough rough week i've been my faith is being tested i tell you you know, you know when you have your goals and your your aspirations and you, you believe in yourself and you're trusting god and you know everything that the bible says about the fact that god has a plan for your life etc but it's easy to believe in your goals when everything is great when everything is peachy when you're in the most positive mindset when all is going well and you have all of the inspiration and the motivation and everything it's very easy to believe in your goals in that state but you see when struggle take you <laughs> when hard times lick you that is when you have the true test of your faith yeah when things are no not going as smoothly not going as great that is when you know if you really trust god and believe in what you say you believe in because you can always walk and tell people, say, your mommy can't swim, but make somebody chuck you in a, you know, a deep pool. And we'll see if you're going to float or if you're going to dead. <laughs> I am grateful for all the reminders that God has put in front of me in the past week. Because almost everywhere I look, every YouTube video I watch, there is something or someone saying something to remind me that God has me. Me, you know so i'm in a much better place now but i did say that because of how the past week went i wanted to take myself out uh and i'm moving it just to kind of unwind and relax a little bit even though i have work to do <laughs> i did some editing this morning and the video is finished i don't know if i'm gonna get to upload today today's sunday i'm supposed to upload this afternoon but i didn't do enough work on the video yesterday saturday so this morning, the bulk of the editing, I had to finish before I came to the movies. And it's done, but it's going to take a very long time to upload. So I left it uploading at home. Uh, hopefully, it's done by the time I get home. And hopefully, I'll be able to post this afternoon or this evening. It's after 3 now, so I went to a 1.30 movie. So if it's finished uploading, then I might be able to post it. If not, I'll just post tomorrow. It's fine. I'm sure you guys won't mind, right? Right. So guys, it's one week later and I found this salad place in Devon House called Bowl and Spoon. As soon as you drive into Devon House and you make that left bend, it's right on the left corner across from Tap Bar. I love salads. I love a good Wendy's apple pecan salad. I love the salads that are just salads, but but from time to time I get tired of them. So, and I'm so happy I found this restaurant and I figured, let me share it with you guys. They sell chopped salads. I got a kale salad with shrimp. I've never had a kale salad before. I love kale in my smoothies, but I've never had a kale salad before. So I was like, let me try it. And it was pretty good enough. it had all the things that i love in a salad nuts berries so i think it had some cranberry and a bit of pecans or walnut whatever it was i loved it and then they gave me a salad dressing with it which tasted a bit like something honey mustard and it was good i liked it the salad was fresh i added shrimp to mine but it tasted really fresh and tasted really good and i just wanted to put you guys on so bowl and spoon in devon house check them out i know this interlude is not sponsored i just wanted to share with you guys sharing is caring anyway let's get back to the vlog we're back in the car <laughs> the last time i spoke to you guys was maybe about two or three weeks ago yeah it's been that long but i decided to pick you guys back up today because i'm at work it's lunchtime and i'm going on another solo lunch date because mystic thai in kingston if you've watched my montego bay series by the way i went to mystic thai montego bay that restaurant now has a location in kingston everybody their mother and them dog have been going to mystic thai <laughs> since they came to kingston i noticed that they have a lunch special for about 3,900 Jamaican dollars. I decided I'm going to check it out. So I don't know if the lunch menu is going to be any different from their regular menu, but we're going to find out together. The reservation is at two o'clock and it's 1.46 now. So let's head out. Just 
just like that we made it it took me not too long at all it's right across from ac hotel on lady musgrave road so can't miss it in pretty much in the heart of new kingston to be honest outside doesn't look like much as a matter of fact before i even knew that mystic tie was here when i saw them working on this property i wondered if it was a house or a medical complex <laughs> outside doesn't really look like much but i hear inside is where the magic is so let's go check it out I couldn't talk to you guys inside because there was music it didn't sound like copyright protected music but you never know but still it was too loud for you to really hear what I was saying did I enjoy my lunch is the question it was okay honestly it was all right the lunch special is just an appetizer and a main course if you want to buy a drink you have to order that separately if you want dessert you have to order that separately and the lunch special is three thousand nine hundred dollars all inclusive so that includes tax but again that's just a main course and an appetizer also i don't think the portion size for lunch is the same as the portion size for the regular menu for example the swing roll you only got two pieces i don't think that's the portion size for the regular menu i ordered the panang chicken as you saw which is like a curry is that curry i'm not sure what panang is in on but it's a curry it's a type of curry and i asked them to make it spicy and i love the spice all right so let's break down this review let's talk about ambiance the restaurant looks very nice on the inside it reminds me of the mystic thai in montego bay exact same vibe very nice very elegant very asian inspired clean looks good aesthetics on point ambiance mellow cool calm the music isn't too loud if you were dining with someone you could hear each other speak so it wasn't too loud in that regard but in terms of me recording and talking to you guys it would have been too loud i went ahead and ordered from the lunch menu again it's three thousand. so the ambiance is good the decor is good customer service perfect the hostess was pleasant my server was very pleasant and attentive mind you the restaurant was empty but customer service was good so we give them a 10 out of 10 for customer service the menu options i'll say for the main menu you have a lot of variety meat seafood vegetarian you name it as well as the drink menu there's a long list of drinks both alcoholic and non-alcoholic the lunch menu i feel like they could have dropped in a little one dessert in the three thousand nine hundred dollars. you don't think so I mean, mind you, the, let's be real. The portion size, I'm sure, is smaller than, than if you were to order from the regular menu. So, them could have dropped in a little one dessert for a little 3900 I think so. So, I don't know if it's value for money. Now, the food. The spring roll is very good. It was vegetable spring roll, by the way. I'm a vegetable spring roll girl. I love it both when it's cooked in the fried pastry. And I also love it when it's in, like, rice paper. Not cooked. Anyway. The spring roll was very good. I loved it. I don't know if it's curry, the curry, the vegetables or whatever it was, but it had a bit of spice and very flavorful. Enjoyed it. Again, only two pieces. Wasn't enough. I could have done with four pieces of spring roll because it was only two pieces and on top of that, the pieces were small. Now the pan 
pan and chicken the reason i ended up ordering the pan and chicken is because you guys are supposed to know my style by now i always ask the server what is the crowd favorite what do people order most on the menu he suggested the pan and curry he also mentioned some other things he said the pad thai was also good he mentioned the salmon the sea bass but the lunch menu has a specific list of options right so the, of the things that he mentioned the only thing that was on the lunch menu was the pan and curry so i went ahead and ordered it the flavor was good the spice was good i asked them to make it spicy it wasn't very spicy but it was spicy enough for you to to, to feel the cake but somehow the chicken for one tasted a bit chewy and for two at some point the chicken tasted a bit undercooked i'm sure i saw somebody mention this on tiktok the girl was saying how the flavor of the thing was good but the chicken itself tasted raw i understand what she meant because the, the pan and curry sauce is is good it's okay it's not like overly flavorful it's not one of those things that you remember about it next week and you're like damn that food it tastes good it's not one of those things but the flavor was nice and it had a right amount of spice but the chicken itself somehow is almost like the chicken wasn't cooked with the sauce it's almost like they cooked the sauce separately and then tossed the chicken in the sauce if that makes sense because somehow you taste the sauce separate from you taste the chicken i kid you not to say there was a little bit rubbery so i don't know if you guys saw me cutting pieces of chicken at any point because i did have to kind of get into it a little bit when i was cutting the chicken i mean it's not beef it's not steak so you're cutting chicken you're not supposed to have to just swipe the knife one time and the chicken cut as far as i'm concerned but no the chicken was a bit rubbery and at some point it started to taste a little bit uncooked which was when i stopped eating because while the sauce had a nice flavor you know it was it creamy right it's a very creamy sauce so it's easy to get a bit what's the word clyde yeah clyde I mean, in Jamaica, we say Clyde, but what's the actual English word? Is it Clyde <laughs> or Clyde? <laughs> Klein? <laughs> I don't know. You know what I mean. It gets a bit overwhelming because it's so creamy. Add to that, the chicken tasting undercooked. Mm -mm. At that point, I stopped eating. I have the to-go box, though. I'm going to take it home and <laughs> listen. I don't know, if you see that girl on TikTok, the girl said she and her friend, she went on a date and they took the food home and, re and, and recooked it. That's what I'm going to have to do. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put that chicken in a skillet and cook it some more bruh so it's a nice restaurant clearly but if i was to go back to missing thai i would not order the pan and curry again i wouldn't order it again but that's not something that i typically go for i would order the pad thai <laughs> when i go to thai restaurant that's, that's the one thing i always want to order but i really want to check out the, the lunch menu to see what it was giving if it was value for money if it makes sense because you know as a corporate girly as a 95 girly i'm i cook my lunch and i take lunch to work almost every day but sometimes when i feel for something nice you know i go from time to time i want to have something different for lunch i want to try something different so i wanted to see if this would have been a good option for corporate people who like to go out to eat for lunch all in all you should definitely go and check it out and order something else i mean if you want to try the pan and curry by all means try it like i said it, it it's not like it tastes bad and today it could just be an off day you never know so check it out yourself um, tell me what you order tell me if you like it tell me if it tastes good if you've already been there let me know in the comments and let me know what you ordered so i can know if if i decide to go back to mystic thai kingston what i should try next time so yeah good morning same car different day <laughs> i keep meeting you guys in the car i don't know why anyway today's friday we are going to get waxed this morning i hate waxing it's so painful i hate that i have to do it but anyway it is what it is by the way today is our work day we are working we are working but i'm gonna get waxed and get a pedicure today there's a new place that i found on tiktok it's like a new spa so they do everything they do lashes pedicure manicure massage the whole deal so i'm gonna check them out today and i'm just gonna take you guys along you see me so the wax appointment is at nine but i was a little bit late so i allowed her to see somebody else before me so i'm starting about 20 or 30 minutes later than my original appointment time i made the pedicure appointment for 10 30. i just made the appointment this morning actually they have a booking website which i love which is great i love the convenience of having a booking website i can book online and off the call to find out what times they have available for me that's just more convenient so i made the appointment this morning i just discovered the place yesterday so i made the appointment this morning for 10 30 thinking that i would 
go after my wax appointment but they call to say that they don't have anybody available for 10 30. they have a couple of people who are doing pedicures right now but they said that they can see me at 12. so after the wax i'm gonna go straight to starbucks which is on the same complex as the pedicure place i have my laptop so i'm just gonna perhaps have a drink at starbucks and do some work there while i wait for my 12 o'clock pedicure appointment fun times My fragrance of the day is Miss Dior Rose and Roses. It's so nice. It's so subtly sweet and elegant and just dainty. It's a dainty perfume. I love it so much. I forgot to spray this morning. Well, I did spray it on my clothes, but I forgot to spray it on my body before I went in for my wax appointment. So let's spray that and then get to Starbucks. Woo! Vanilla sweet cream foam. I love it so much. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This is your first time? It is my first time. So I'm going to send you a consultation form here. And also, you get um, a part of your service experience. Okay, that's nice. November of last year. Okay. How has business been? Very productive, but we have slow days. Okay, okay. Slow days are what we're struggling with. The weekdays. I would imagine. It's so cute in here. You get a water with your service, which is great. Even though I already have mine because I walk with my bottle of water. The place is so nice. Because it's only Japan, we see have them fancy things here in our bathroom. <laughs> that was such a good experience. I really, I really like the place. It's clean, it's aesthetic, it's so cute, and the customer service is great. I think I'll be back. I know I'll be back. The thing is though, either the card machine isn't working or they don't have one, and they didn't tell me that before. They apologize for not telling me before, so I don't walk with cash really. There's an ATM on the property though, so if you happen to visit and you only have a card, there's an ATM on the property. But they also have an account that you can transfer the funds to, so 
they gave me their account number and they're trusting me to transfer the funds later. So I'm gonna do that later and send them the confirmation. Outside of that, I love the place. The customer service was so good and the person who did my toes was Michaela. She did them very well and she never chamba chamba and chop up and cut me up. <laughs> she was like, let me know if you feel any discomfort. Let me know if you feel anything stinging. There was like a tiny, like barely anything to speak of. Just a tiny tinge on what on my little toe. And I told her and she's like, she apologized. She's like, I'm sorry about that. And it wasn't even something for her to apologize about because like I said, it was barely even anything to to mention but because she asked i just told her you know uh so i had a very good experience it is called haven no complaints 10 out of 10 would recommend so i'm putting you on you know sometimes new businesses pop up and as soon as they get a little bit more popular the service kind of dwindles i hope that doesn't happen probably shouldn't tell them about it <laughs> a joke i'm kidding i got some good work done though while i was there i was working on my machine and reception she just came and she's like mish uh, this will be helpful and she brought a little table and set, set it over my lap so I could rest my machine on the little table and it also has a mouse extension if you need that. Nicey! So thoughtful. Yeah man, I enjoyed my time there. I love the way my toes look. So check them out. So tell them I sent you as well. I left there a little while now and I've been doing some work in the car and I just finished something that I definitely wanted to get done today. I have a March deadline for this project so I, I wanted to make sure that I got some serious work done today on that did that and now i'm going to the supermarket but i don't think you guys want to see that <laughs> so i think this is where i'm gonna love you and leave you i'm gonna steal what's her name mrs o lydia dinga i love lydia dinga she's a kenyan youtuber but she lives in the uk she's kenyan her husband is nigerian and she's such a vibe she, i love her vlogs and she always says i'm gonna love you and leave you I think it's so cute. But anyway, I'm gonna leave you here. Thank you so much for watching. This was fun. I love it here. I hope you love it here too. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. Subscribe before you leave. We're always traveling and eating some good food over here. That's literally all we do. We eat and we travel. <laughs> so if you like that kind of content, please subscribe and join the fan bam. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much. I cannot tell you enough how much I appreciate you. And again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little vlog. Until the next one, take care.